Good evening, family, and I'm back with another one. Yes, I'm back with another one. Yes, we got Portia Williams out there, former granddaughter of our um, deceased civil rights leader, advocate for the black America, okay? And, you know, he was there for the people as well, of all colors. But he was there mostly for the black oppressed race as i can say okay it's always white black white black there's no fights between any other type of um culture or race out there it's always white and black white and black well we're going to be talking about portia williams today and her and dennis out there protesting yes doing that thing okay and we're gonna get the story from prevention i ain't never heard of them folks in my life but they got a blogging site out there now it's called prevention okay and the uh, uh journalist was nicole natalie on uh, the tail okay she put it out today and it ran across my timeline and i thought i would go on and break it down for y'all now since we got the housewives and y'all know i'm always talking about the housewives and uh, i'm upping uh miss portia for doing that darn thing her and her little sister getting out there and friends look like that was shamia out there as well where the hell is candy birds where the hell is kenya moore twirl okay twirlers where is kenya moore i don't see her out there protesting i don't see candy out there protesting but these are boss women okay these are ones that you know talk about being about doing about the right thing but where the hell are they okay i'm just asking where's marlo where's nene ah oh, let me see where is queen eva the diva um did I miss anybody? Tanya Sam. She probably scared out there. You know. I don't know why. But she probably scared. She didn't come out there. Didn't want to floss with the everyday real people. Okay. So I'm looking at her strange too. Because unless. And I speak clearly when I say this. Black lives matter. Okay. Don't give me that shit about all lives matter. Yes. We understand that. We're quite aware of all lives matter. Okay. That's humanity in its finest. However. Black people. Are getting murdered. Okay. And nothing's being done about it. So. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. Is what I go with it. Okay. And I really don't care if they burn all the uh, stores down okay I, don't, I really don't because I'm, I'm just fed up of how one race of people decide the fate of other races other cultures and that's just not right and we need to stop this shit and I'll go a little further I would tell anybody at the sound of my ears don't go vote what you voting for okay that's what they need to be doing shutting shit down all the way like no you can't control us anymore we tired of this shit and let me give you an example of what I'm saying about don't go vote how many times you've gone to the polls religiously, such as myself, okay? Haven't voted since I uh, put a, uh, Obama in the um, in the office twice, okay? After that, I was like, what the hell is going on? Tried to vote for Hillary, went out there doing my darn thing, and then the vote is stolen. Hell, we got what you call it up there? Trippity Trump, okay? Trippity Trump is up there. All right, and he's been making a fool out of everybody. Whether you claim him as your president or not, he is the CEO. He's making and shaking and moving up there and just causing chaos. Do you hear me, people? Do you hear what I'm saying? And it's not just his fault. I can put it all on Trump. It's just so many centuries of the same old shit, same old thing. And getting back to my example, because I want to tear it too long. I want to get this, get into this arc and see what Portia doing out there. She doing that darn thing. All right, protests trying to stand up for equality for black men, black women, black everywhere, okay? And if the Asians want to come up in here, the Indians want to come up in here, and, and the Latinos want to come up in here, all right, go, come on come on up here and protest, all right? We'll be out there for y'all if y'all out there for us. That's why I say you got to go tit for tat, you know what I'm saying? We don't know your struggle. We know our struggle, and we live it every damn day, okay? We only get a reprieve when it's trying to say the sentence. And then we don't get fair in that as well either. 
But my feelings like this. If we don't have to vote on whether they give us stimulus checks or not, they just say, okay, we're going to give it to the people because we like the people. We want people to be striving out there as a whole, as an entire, as in quality. So we're going to get them that. Did we have to vote on that? No, we didn't. We just got it. They just said we're going to do it for the people, okay? And I could go into other things, but that's just a larger point for me to bring it home where we don't have to vote, okay? We don't have to vote for them to give us what we feel we need. Now, my whole take on it, until they sit there and erase segregation, they erase discrimination racism of any culture out there and everybody's uh, treated equally and as well if they can say take away the labels no we're not white we're not black we're not asian we're not we are just female male transgender however you want to go on down the line the lgbt and all the other alphabets out there we are human beings if you want to judge us on a scale or how many are affected uh, with this study and that study? Just poll women and men, okay? Women and men, what you were biologically uh, born into is what I'm saying. Do stats on that. Blood pressure, do stats on women and men. We don't have to have these labels of different cultures represented, different um, races represented, and who's going to be the dominant race and, and di- who are these people making these rules? You see what I'm saying? Rules are being made to follow because the elite say do it. All right? We ain't getting no say on that either. Hell, when they call themselves going to give us a curfew. Did we vote on that? Did we go to the polls? Did we vote on that? And I ain't going ta- to tell you how many countless times we hardworking people go out there and vote thinking we're going to make a change. And somebody else got another agenda. The elites got another agenda. They say, okay, let them go vote. But we're going to handle this. We can let them think. We can give them false hope that they are voting for who they voting for. But, you know, we're going to start having some, you know, problems at the polls. We're going to say the machines are down. We're going to say um, when I voted for Bush, it came up Obama. Or when I voted for Obama, it came up for Bush. Or people not counting ballots or polling a place is closing too early. All that kind of shit. All what if you don't believe me, wait until the primary start and you voting for your senator, the next congressman, uh, the next president, any of those issues. See what happened. Be more informed. Be more in tune. They, they, these folks ain't letting you vote. They let you go out there. Continue what you've been doing. Don't ask no questions and we'll keep fucking you up in in the end roll. That's what we need to say. No, we need a bill to be passed right now with all whoever's up there. Because half I'm slick racist anyway. They just, you know, not even come out and tell you. I like the ones that come out and say, I'm a racist. Now, I don't like your culture. I don't like you. Or, you know, just whatever. Yeah, I can respect them because then you know what you're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? When your haters come at you, you know how they coming, where they coming. Because they're telling you they coming. You see what I'm saying? It's the ones you got to worry about that's smiling your face and stabbing you in the back. It's the ones you got to watch out for okay i was just said that to let you know how i feel about this situation so you're gonna make your own opinions but i'm just tired i'm with the people no justice no peace no justice no peace now i ain't saying going out there killing folk but i'm saying march until you tired march until you, you, change has come Cause don't tell me oh well you need to just go on and put the right people in there or vote for the people then when they get there uh, your vote would count it, but then they come up, they still in the whole race. You going to bed thinking Hillary up there. God damn it, we got Trump up there. You know what I'm saying? And then you want to blame with these people. You know, you're going by the polls. And polls can be manipulated and lied and, and falsified, okay? So th- don't give me all of that. Don't jump in the comments. I'm just saying, let me speak my mind. Let me speak my truth or what I feel. I don't think nobody should go out there and vote. Everybody should march to the Capitol, their Capitol, and say, look, we want bills passed, man. Put it up there. I don't care who up there now. We want a humanity bill 
pass that no one can be discriminated on the color of their skin or the creed of their character or any of that if they are found guilty prosecution for life okay or we could just take their life if they indeed got a fair trial but then again it just is what it is that should just be state law mandatory and then we'll see how people attitudes change you take that title white black asian eskimo in native american away okay and we just humankind we just human beings and you just judge us on being a female and a male then we'll be talking some shit i can get with just like the braves they done told y'all stop doing that tomahawk chop uh chop at the braves games you know y'all still keep disrespecting that culture now i ain't saying y'all is everybody i'm just saying subset people okay still doing they don't told you they don't like that they don't told you that's disrespectful they don't been to court i don't know how many times about this situation but the braves still go up there and the fans do the tomahawk chop chant their you know religious chants when you know they're playing the game don't even know what you chant for you know what i'm saying you might be calling up spears and shit without oh you know what i'm saying leave that for them folks leave that for that culture to continue doing because they know why they're doing it they know what it means we don't we just sitting up there following the masses it's total disrespect see that's what i'm saying laws like that no, we ain't going to do nothing that disrespects another culture. You see what I'm saying? I can get with that. I can't get with it. Uh-uh. I can't, I can't get with the new, or well, not the new, but the old way of doing things. I can't get with the old way of voting. We need to stop, think about this thing, and ask for a complete resolution of, hey, blacks will not be given harsher fines than their sentences or they whatever crime they commit will not ex super exceed or exceed what we can give them you know what i'm saying we're just gonna go if if it human beings human mankind man or woman do an infraction this is what you're gonna get because this is what we see it all right the old ways are not working the old way of voting is not working the old way we have a still you know put in laws to be in place not working so here we are again at a force mentality you either give us what we want which is rightly deserved out of how many centuries and it's just boiling ahead okay i'm just saying now we're gonna go on and get into the story y'all see what i feel about it maybe y'all saw them agree maybe i don't agree I, I really don't care you know it's just how i feel and what i'm dealing with in my own way of looking at the oppression of one said so of people then like i said you got the indians out there it's just too much you know what i'm saying it's time for you to turn on that tv and you see every walk of life you know doing commercials uh doing uh advertisements uh being a part of billboards you know uh, just a rainbow of different uh people up there you see what i'm saying that's what i'm getting tired of saying the same old shit some give to some privilege then we getting so much because we go out there and we try to fight y'all for it you know what i'm saying but then hell we get caught up in the mess too talking about gucci gucci don't give a shit about no race to tell you the truth i ain't gonna just say the black race we already know that's a key factor hell no they don't uh, care about us but we are so labeled on everything we gotta have gucci we gotta have Prada. we gotta have m core we gotta have louis vuitton only because the masses and the elite rep these people so now y'all think y'all got to go and be a part of it and i ain't gonna lie i was part of it too i bought me a little bit of time after i finished my master's degree and stuff i was celebrating hey i just wanted to do it because i always wanted one ever since i was 16 years old okay but that pocketbook ain't no more better than the pocketbooks I rock for fourteen dollars for ten if I can get it on sale. Or you know, a nice bag that costs maybe a hundred dollars or sixty dollars. You know what I'm saying? A pre level bag, okay? But I say this to say that we labor holes out here. You know what I'm saying? We need to just pull it back, rein it back, okay? And vote for what's right. Vote for humanity as a whole, not being subset, subtitled and labeled. You know, that's what we need to vote on. We don't want to have races no more we wants to be either seen as a female male transgender you know including the lbg community and all that stuff but that's it okay when we go up there to fill our applications and stuff
of this nature. We don't want to see what color are you. What they got to do with what's in my bank account? What they got to do? Can I drive this car? Or can I buy this house? Or, or, or whatever. You need to just know how much I make where I am employed and uh, stuff of that nature. You don't need to know my race. Okay. You all think you need to know if I'm a male or female if you want to know that. How many males are buying this type of car? How many uh, females are buying this type of home? That's all you need to know. Whether it was purchased by a male, female, or transgender. You know, the L whole LGBT community. That's all you need to know. Hell. You don't need to know all that. Okay. And I just get, you know, I'm just fed up. It ain't doing nothing for my gastro, uh, gastritis I have going on. I had to go to the doctor today, y'all. Put me on some more medicine. Because, you know, just stuff that's messing with my stomach. You can't go out there and find what you want. The produce don't look right. Look all withered and wiltered and shit. And you just don't, you don't have nothing to eat to eat right in these days and times. Hell, you got rooting, you got riding, you got protesting. And it's a silver unrest out there, okay? And again, it's only fixated at one group of people, one set race. And I'm sick of the shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm sick of it. We need to get it together. We need to do better. But we sure got a hell of a lot of smart people out there. In every walks of life. In every race out there. But yet, we can't even get it together. We so smart to where we damn dumb. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's all I got to say. I'm going to go on and get into this article now. See what Portia Williams doing out there. But like I say, I understand why Nene probably not out there. Because we have Greg. He have a low immune system. He just, you know, uh, in remission. I ain't going to say a recovery. But he's in remission. No cancer cells is, you know, uh, invading his body and tearing down his body's immune system. So I can see her not going out there protesting and keeping a low profile and, you know, stuff like that. Uh... Uh, you know, because Corona's still out there. We don't have no vaccine for it. They're still in the laboratory trying to make some come to fruition. And I tell you, even if they came up and said, we got a cure tomorrow, I probably wouldn't take a copy too scared. Like, how the hell you got something that quick when it takes years to do research and years to study this and see what the long-term effects will be, if any. God died. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot we're fighting with, uh, out there and um i can understand why nini is not out there protest so i give her a pass but cannabis I, I i girl where you at why what are you doing why are you not out there you live with a man a black man you married to a black man what, what's going on what's going on candy girl okay I know Cynthia Bale is out there. Her and her whole family, Mike, they, they, they're up there in L.A. protesting. I've seen them. Got to do a video on them as well. Because uh, I like that. I like you getting out there. You being about it. You doing about it. You talking about it. It may be a storyline for both Cynthia as well as Portia when they come back. I'm not sure. The damn show, if they can go out there and protest, they sure can go ahead and take their reunion. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even if they have to be masked up okay because that would be one for the books you know if you had to go back in the archives after you know real housewives of Atlanta has done its due and it's done turned into another reality show name something else you can still go back and say you know i made history you know we was out there with the coronavirus people you know losing their jobs uh we was out there protesting for better quality for all walks of life but mostly black lives because them the ones they are taking by gunpoint by force by brutality means you see what i'm saying you know it's a lot it's a lot they can go back and talk about in 2020 because that that i tell you it's been hitting us hard since it came in you hear what i'm saying but uh yeah but i don't see kenya more out there He's talking about Mark up there feeding the homeless up in New York. You know, when they were doing a reunion, he's doing his little just do it. I don't see Mark marching. I don't see him marching out there, okay? What is he doing? You lying for him, can you? But you know that's what you do. You're a liar. You do what you do. Do it very well. Get your money, girl. I ain't mad at you. But, you know, uh, why you not out there, can you? You like to post. You like to say you one with the people and and, and you, you give back and this, that, and the third. Well, girl, where are you? Where are you? This is the time our celebrities come, white, black, Asian, you know, Hispanic, uh, Native American. We come together. We do it for the cause, okay? Because we are the cause at the time because we the one dying. I mean, they keep killing up our black men. 
How are we going to produce as a race? We're not. We're going to die out. That's what some of the elite people want, okay? Just see what it is. I'm talking facts, all right? Whether you agree with me or you don't agree with me. Whether you want them educated black folks and you, like, see everything flawed in my viewpoints, whatever. Guess what? They still are discriminating against your ass, too. Okay? I don't care how far, how fast you climb. You can best believe some of them, not all of them, because I don't want to generalize don't like you because it's color of your skin okay i'm just saying so you can get caught up in a rat race and and, and get all involved that you won in the group no baby until we make them come out and say what they feel what they don't like and we recognize uh what we got going on and there's laws out there to protect you know the humanity from people that want to inflict harm and oppression and get away with it can kill somebody. You know, talking about I can't breathe and you still riding on his neck with your uh hands in your pockets and shit. You know, like it ain't it ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. I'm gonna kill this black man, yay, yay. You know what I'm saying? And it's like what? Are we living in that time? So hey. Like I said, Jesus had to take some of his warriors' uh, followers in, and they had to do better, and bl- battle and bloodshed was definitely spilled. And, you know, it has to be what it has to be because it has come to a boiling point. All right. Phaedra, yeah, where you at, baby? You got two black men growing up. Where are you? Hey, where the hell is Apollo at? You know what I'm saying? Why I don't see y'all out there marching, okay? I'm not understanding these things. I'm not understanding them. But that's how we are. That's where we're at. We're going to go on and get into the story now. Uh, we're talking about Portia Williams. Like I said, Nicole from Prevention. I don't know if it's Prevention, the magazine uh, that talks about health and uh, good eating or something. Is that Prevention? I don't know. It's like I may have seen it in a doctor's office somewhere in my lifetime. But okay, I'm not really sure. But hey, they're talking about celebrity news and gossip. Mm-hmm. They're titled, uh, how she titled her article was Real Housewives of Atlanta star Portia Williams on being tear gassed while protesting. It was devastating. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to read, y'all. Hell, I guess it was de- devastating. But when you got Trumpy the Trump up there, Trippy the Trump is what I like to call him. I know he's the CEO and I know he's the president. And I'm like, damn, how he get up there and why we ain't impeached him by now? He sat up there and told the people. And then he's going to come back to me. I was just being sarcastic. No! We don't need you to be sarcastic. We need you to be true to form and always be on set, ready to go. Okay? I know Trump said you're going to drink some uh, disinfectant. It might cure the coronavirus. I'm like, who does that? Who does that? Okay? Yeah, please. <coughs> so, I'm like, tear gas. I'm telling you. It's a hot mess. But then again, Portia, I kind of think that... You have the money and the resources. You should have got you one of them tear gas masks, baby. You know, and you were born in a civil rights uh, family. You know, and then you trip the Trump up there talking about he'll unleash the dogs and get the water out there to spray you. Yeah, he went back in the, th- the 60s, didn't it? The 60s or 70s with that shit. Jim Crow days. <laughs> Who do we have up there, people? You see what I'm saying? Who do we have up there? That's why I said, uh-uh, this bone thing ain't, ain't working. We got to we got to restructure this shit. Because that system we are currently in on the way of voting. And when you can go out there and vote and they can manipulate shit, something wrong. Something wrong right there. We need laws in place right now. Just like they made a law to give us a, stim- a stimulus packet. They don't make a law for discrimination. Put it in black and white. Make hate crimes out there. Put that uh, on the books. Pass it, okay? We don't need no uh, people going to the polls for that. No, put it in place now. We're tired of black people getting murdered. Because that's basically what it is. And you're sitting up there taking pictures and laughing about it. Okay? And we might have some of our own kind doing the same shit. Because they don't believe that they're part of the black race. Okay? Brainwashed is what it is. They don't think they're part of it. But anyway. Going back to the article. It said the Real Housewives of Atlanta star was peacefully marching when it happened. Okay? Portia Williams participated in Atlanta's protest following the killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Woo, where Prince, 
used to stay, okay? Mm, mm, mm. He probably turned over in his grave by now, but I think he got cremated, so I don't know. Maybe he up there in the atmosphere just cutting up because of that. I'm not really sure. But God rest uh, George Floyd's soul. All right. Then it says, that was my pun intended, not in the article. The Real Housewives of Atlanta star was tear gassed in a peaceful crowd and called the experience devastating. Well, you know what I'm saying, Porsche, you got to come with it, baby. When you know how it was back in there, when your uh, grandfather, Jose Williams, is out there being an activist, getting beat on, being spit on, being thrown down to the ground, had to run with his little overalls, cute self, I tell you the truth. <laughs> going to get beat, going to jail. Uh, being in unheard um, environments, you know, when they were jailed and stuff, and probably wasn't getting fed or none of that stuff. Probably beating them to a pope, but it's just here with it is, because that's where it's still rolling around here. So, see, we need some serious laws, okay? And we need to rearrange some laws. We need, forget it. Just tear all the laws down and let's start back at a new, okay? But make that into fruition without even having to have to have the people say and vote on it. Do better the system we got now with the people that are in office now. Do better. If you can't do better, you don't feel the same, then we need to get rid of you. Just put in your resignation, okay? Just go on up there and say, I'm a racist. I like being a racist. And I can't do nothing but be a racist. So, we're, uh, we, okay, well, we need to assign you to another job. You're fired. Uh, and maybe we can develop something in the crop where you can grow food and you can work on your anger management of being a racist. Okay, or something to that effect. You know, maybe we need to, I, I don't know, but you need to be in some kind of meditating type of uh, employment. You don't need to be up there making laws to harm a, a set race or any other race that's not superior to your own. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Not in that article, I just did a sidebar. Okay, then we got in the wake of George Floyd's killing, Real Housewives of Atlanta star Portia Williams participated in an Atlanta protest on Tuesday. The 38-year-old was recording an Instagram live of the experience when something unexpected happened. Tear gas was released into the crowd. In the video, Williams and a street full of protesters walked together in solidarity. Then the crowd begins to run after hearing multiple popping sounds. It's gas, it's gas, Williams shouted as she ran away. As she started to cough uncontrolled uncontrollably a man came over to her tilt your head back he said open your eyes blink don't rub your eyes the man called for anti-tear gas and several people nearby mentioned needing milk Williams later confirms that she used milk to flush her eyes for the safest tear gas treatment experts recommend using water since milk isn't always thorough wait that's some shit so see we go but the fda need to be reconstructed you see what i'm saying we just go down the line and just say okay let's pull it let's pull them tell me if you're a racist we got to go through your files we got to see if anything has come up on you we're gonna do an apb on your ass you know what i'm saying we're gonna go back we're gonna do we're gonna find out if it's in the dirt we're gonna be like the cia we finna go get some okay <clears throat> when i'm saying not get some not plant some not go and you know manufacture some i'm like no we finna go to your childhood and we're gonna come all the way back up okay using your social we gonna see what's going on with you so we can say now nah, you're not a good fit we're gonna need you to go work over and and, and grow some plants or grow some food or hell i better yet i, I don't know because we we just gonna sit and think about you, you no know, we got to pull these people out right now just go down the line go down their private uh what do you call it their private um files and just really take a look looky look and see what's going on that's what we need to do Okay, going back to the article. Oh no, I went to something else, y'all. Now my phone messing up. What is it doing here? Okay, this video is running a little bit too long, and then I want it, but you know I get upset when we talk about equality. Okay, but anyway, we're going back. But I'm, I'm kind of confused, Portia. Again, I'm gonna need you to do your homework when you come off want to do all of this stuff for the people and for our race and for just humanity. Period. I need you to investigate some stuff. I, damn, I don't know why. Oh, what's the name? Dennis and Tay. Maybe we might put some milk up in him because they might do some thing. But you know, I guess they thought since they were celebrities. <laughs> And, you know, they well known in the community that they would look at them and say, we ain't going to do it. See what I'm saying? False. 
false way of thinking you gotta when you put yourself in those protesting type situations you gotta be geared up like you're going to battle in war like you're going over to another country and destroy some shit you gotta be in your army fatigue you know and i'm sure you had some cute fatigue camouflage stuff out there and you got to come with it. Because when that shit start happening, you just turn on, put your mask on. You keep on doing what you got to do. You see what I'm saying? Like, we won't sit down. We won't go home. We won't. We won't. We won't go home until it's done. We won't. You know what I'm saying? And, and have your shit together. Just like the military is set up. You be set up. Okay? <coughs> but anyway. um, A nearby protester was trying to help her and stuff. Uh, but like they said, some milk products are not um, as sterile as water. But I'm like, oh, really? Because I don't know. Because they be tampering with our water, true. And they tell them like, we need to boil it and stuff like that when something happened to the water. So is anything really safe out there? But anyway, moving back to the article, that was just my sidebar. It says, after she recovered, Williams addressed what happened in the video. Do y'all see this? We in Atlanta. It's 745. The curfew is not until 9 p.m. We're out here peacefully protesting, and they tear gassing us for no reason at all, Williams said. And I'm like, you know what I'm saying? You right, girl. We were seeing it on TV, but they were telling us something else. That's why they call it fake news. CNN. <coughs> to be ashamed of yourself ought to be a damn shame of yourself and the other news local news uh reporters out here telling us one thing and if you ain't in the midst you don't know you don't know so it's again false advertisement that's why people don't like looking at the news and they'd rather go on youtube or other social media platforms and see what's going on all right or facebook or, or instagram you know somebody gonna be telling the truth because they out there looking at the shit they in the midst of it so they can kind of tell you you know if folk lying to you or not you should anyway but anyway it's just what it is going back to the article it says williams further opened up to people about how she felt in that moment it was devastating to feel like i was out there trying to stand with my people stand with our allies and help them raise a message of hope and to be <coughs> silenced and not able to breathe because of the gas bomb that was thrown, she said. Tear gas is a chemical agent that can cause excruciating pain, especially to the eyes and the skin. Relentlessly coughing, trouble breathing, and even vomiting. While it's a popular crowd control method among police officers, it's actually banned during war warfare by Geneva Convention. You see what I'm saying? You only, when you at war trying to go to war, you can't even use certain things. It's already written down now. You can get in trouble for that. But you can't get in trouble and get sentenced properly when you kill a black man. That's a problem. That's a problem, y'all. That's a problem. And we don't had this problem over 400 years and we died. We died. Okay, but going back, it says William said being tear gas gave her another level of strength to keep protesting. Right now, I am pushing through with a heavy heart for everyone, for the people who live in this country, for my brothers and my sisters, she said. Just as passionate as I am about having a safe, quality future life for my daughter, I want the same for any other American. See, that's what I'm talking about. It ain't about. We're Americans. If you don't want to be human beings entitled that way, we're Americans. That's all we need to know. Treat us all like we want to sing the national anthem. Because right now, I'm kneeling on both knees. I'm praying and I'm sitting there with, oh, uh, it ain't Kaepernick, Kaepernick. And everybody else should be sitting there. Because it's just a travesty and a shame when you sit there and watch somebody on live TV being oppressed by somebody who's supposed to be protecting us in the blue protecting sir don't y'all see that on the police cars but yet they doing something else totally different they strict they, they, um whew. they're pressing the life right out of your body okay that's some bullshit and then they still got some bullshit on him talking about other reasons of why he may have died no nah, we saw brother we saw that may have been a contributing factor these other um uh, diagnosis you coming up with him after you done the autopsy on George Floyd. But we saw what was the contributor faction, what was the catalyst to setting off his death. The man was on his neck, okay? Some say uh, nine minutes, some say eight, some say seven. However, it's evident that the man is dead, okay? And we saw the uh, reason of how he died, okay? But that's all I had for this video, guys. And uh, be aware. Just be aware of everything and how you treat people, okay? Because we're Americans. I like that better. Some are not being treated like Americans. The, the home of the brave. Uh, you know, we should be respectful 
of our country and this, that, and third. But when you have definitely got to a certain group of people of color and you just keep oppressing them or keep oppressing them, hey, even you can't keep a crab out of a barrel, one of them or a couple of them are going to jump out. They ain't going to just keep hitting their head. They, some of them are going to sneak out. And do better. Okay. So that I'm just asking everybody of every race. Do better. If you don't want it for yourself. Don't want, don't want it. And don't demand it for another race of people. Okay. That's all I got for this video guys. Like and share. That's why I know you care. And I will see y'all next video. And don't forget to subscribe. Good night.